Hello everyone, welcome back. We're doing a little Q&A because I've been gone for a month and I feel like we already need to catch up. For me, it's felt like three months and in general, like in these past few weeks, I feel like I've had a lot of changes anyway. So let's have a little catch up. So on Instagram, I posted a picture and you guys commented under that and I chose the comments with the most likes and also a few comments that I just wanted to answer. We're gonna start with the most liked comment and I feel like I'm about to disappoint you because my answer is not gonna help you at all. This question was, what kind of visa are you on? Was it hard to obtain it and what was your process for that? So the person that asked me this, I think wants to move to Barcelona and my answer is so disappointing. I don't need a visa, I don't have a visa. So I really can't help you in that department. I'm an EU citizen living in an EU country, therefore I have freedom of movement. So I'm just chilling here, sorry, moving on. The next question that had the most likes was how do you stay motivated and how do you stay confident in yourself and not doubt yourself? How do you not give up? So kind of like all of that in general. So I definitely do have moments where I'm not motivated just like any other person, but I feel like I have a specific vision for myself in the future and I just cannot let myself not get to that point if that makes sense. Sometimes maybe the motivation comes from a sense of stress, which is not good. I'm working on that. This is not the right way to get motivation, but being honest that that's where that motivation comes from sometimes. Another thing, this is like a very small thing, but like more practical. If you don't have Pinterest, I don't know what you're doing. You need vision boards on there. You need to be like constantly seeing things for motivation and ideas and Pinterest is the way to go. I don't know if vision boards specifically work for me yet. Like I really believe in visualization, but I do that more through like journaling rather than vision boards. But I do believe that when people make vision boards, it works. But Pinterest is like my vision board process, but I don't have like a vision board, but just like scrolling through all the time is like a vision, oh, anyway. That's how I stay motivated. The next question is, how has your year been so far? Do you have any January reflections? So I feel like the beginning of this year was rough. Like January was not it for me. Anytime I talk about this, I always say the thing that like I was with people 24 seven for about like a, a month and a half. And then I was suddenly alone and I was in my thoughts all the time. And I think I must've had like a few little issues for the past few months, but I wasn't really confronting them because I was never really alone. And then suddenly I was like basically alone for a month and I had to like confront these issues. Yeah, I was not having a good moment for about like three weeks But a few days ago, I kind of did this thing where I was like, you know what today? I'm just gonna have like a shadow work day. I deleted all social media. I had no external Sounds playing like I wasn't playing any music. I wasn't watching any Netflix shows I wasn't reading fiction books like nothing to distract me from my own thoughts And I was just like listening to what is going on in there getting it out all on paper I mean Made a whole video on it. It's already up on my channel if you want to watch. It was such an emotional day. It was the most emotionally draining day I've had in months. It changed me so quickly and so much. So if you feel like you need a little bit of like an emotional reset, I would recommend you to try out something like that because a lot of the times if we have like a mental health issue, sometimes we ignore it. We try to distract ourselves, but sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes the best thing to do is to confront it. The next question, this question had 40 likes. Someone asked, where do you get your financial sufficiency from? So like, what is your income? What is your job basically? So right now my money 100% comes from social media. I would wouldn't specifically say YouTube AdSense. I also have a whole video breaking down my income, like specifically how much comes from which part, which I will link somewhere here. Yeah, right now it's 100% social media. It's my goal to move it slowly away from social media. So in the future, more with trading and investing, but at the current moment, I'm 100% self-funded. My parents are not paying a cent of anything I'm paying for. No one is giving me money. I'm giving myself money. <laughs> How did you make the big decision of what to do in life as a career? I'm currently struggling with this and would love some advice. The main thing I wanna say is your best friend is watching a day in the life videos. I swear to freaking God. I studied computer science for a year and a half and I loved computer science. Like even though I dropped out of university, you cannot tell me that I didn't like computer science. I honestly really, really loved it. But the moment that I realized that I didn't want to 
do that was when I was watching a day in my life as a software engineer, a day in my life as a, I don't know, game developer, like all the different type of jobs that you can branch out into after studying computer science. I was watching a day in the life and I was like, that's not how I want to live my life personally. And it doesn't mean that now I can't enjoy computer science because computer science is just an interesting subject that I could still study, but that's not a career I want. So I would recommend rather than going on to like your favorite university's website and searching all the different courses they have and trying to like read the course descriptions don't do that watch a bunch of like day in the life videos of like what a day in the life of a specific person looks like a specific career and then figure out which degree you can do to get to that point if you know kind of your end point you can then choose the degree that you would just have more fun studying. Don't start with degree and then job. Start with job and then degree. And when you're watching the day in the life videos, don't just watch one because people have different experiences. Like watch as many as you can find and you will see. Like for example, I would watch a day in the life self-employed, day in the life entrepreneur, day in the life content creator. And that resonated with me much more than day in my life as a software engineer. What is your favorite quote? I wrote these down. I have a few. I honestly have a whole notion page for favorite quotes because I really am a quotes person. Cheesy quote, not cheesy. I don't care. I love them all. So I have three quotes for you today. My first favorite, favorite quote is your only limit is your mind. Amen to that. It sounds heavy and like rude, but if you're not where you want to be in life right now, the harsh truth is that that's on you. I don't know, that sounds really harsh, but that's what I believe. My second favorite quote is in Russian, but it's gonna be, there's gonna be a translation here. Не беспокойся о своем будущем. Достойно создавай настоящее и будущее расцветет. I love it because people focus so much on the future, but the future does not exist. Neither does the past. The only thing that exists is right now. And you can't keep telling yourself you're gonna do something in the future. Like, how are you gonna get to that point? You need to be doing something about it now. Um, and my third quote is to make decisions from the perspective of who you want to become. I feel like a lot of these quotes are basically like the same thing, but um, said in different ways. So I really like that. Okay, um, how many countries have you visited in your life so far and what are they? I've visited 11 so far and I've lived in five of them. So the five I've lived in and visited are Latvia, Ireland, United States, United Kingdom, and Spain. And the other six are Turkey, Brazil, France, Italy, the UAE, and Portugal. The next question is what are your top five favorite countries you have visited? Okay. Since there's 11 countries and I've lived in five, that means I have to choose five, five of my favorite countries from six. And I don't think I can do that. I don't want to leave out one country. So let me choose like a top three. And this is not a top three ever in life. This is just like a top three right now. What country is calling me type of thing. So out of those six, my top three are going to be the UAE, Brazil, and Italy. I'm not saying they're my favorite. They're like, at the moment, they're calling me, you know? So speaking of visiting new countries, a couple of days ago on my stories, I was talking about kind of my travel plans and the fact that I'm going to be visiting five new countries this year. And I thought it would be good to mention it here as well. So the question that I asked myself is, what new countries are you visiting this year and what for? This year, I am visiting Poland, the Czech Republic, India, Costa Rica, and Norway. So, so far, five new countries this year. So I'm going to Poland for a Wim Hof expedition. If you guys have heard of him, he's called the Iceman. So I'm going to be in Poland for a week. Czech Republic, I'm also going to be, I'm going to be there only for literally a day. But basically when I'm flying into Poland, I'm not actually flying into Poland. I'm flying into the Czech Republic in the morning. And then we get collected in the evening to drive to Poland. But like I have a whole day in the airport. And what's the point to sit in the airport if I can explore the Czech Republic. So when I arrive into the Czech, Czech Republic, I have a day to explore before we get driven to Poland. And then on the last day in Poland, they're gonna drive us back to the airport in the morning. And then once again, I have literally all day to sit in the airport. Basically, I think I'm gonna have two days to explore Prague. Um, India, I'm going with one of my best friends. I'm very excited. This trip is mostly just for like exploring and traveling. It doesn't have like a specific reason. Like with, for the other countries, a lot of them are because of like courses or retreats. Whereas to India, like we just want to explore. We just want to see the country. 
so I'm very excited to go. Costa Rica, I'm going on a yoga retreat of my favorite yoga teacher in life. So I found this yoga teacher that I'm gonna put right here. And I was doing her classes for a while. Last year in some of my videos, if you ever see me doing yoga, I was always doing yoga with her. Not directly, but like she would post classes and I would watch the classes. And then she was doing a January challenge, which I signed up to. And then she was like, by the way, guys, I'm doing a retreat in Costa Rica. And I was like, I think it's time. And Norway, I'm going to Oslo for an Eckhart Tolle retreat. So if any of you guys have heard of the book, The Power of Now or A New Earth, or he has a lot of really famous books, to be honest. I really, really, really admire him. He's doing kind of like, I think it's like a seven day retreat in Norway where we're just gonna be learning from him directly for like seven days. And I cannot wait. That's the reason why I'm going to Norway. So I'm not gonna be able to explore Norway as much as I'd like, but I haven't booked the tickets yet. So realistically, I will book like an extra two or three days in Norway so that I can like kind of explore around. But yeah, I haven't planned that trip yet. That trip is like the furthest away. That trip is in September. The next question is, do you think you're ever going to go back to studying computer science? So if it's for fun, yes. If it's for a career, no. Because like I said earlier, that's not a career that I want anymore. Um, so I would like, I would love to study computer science. Honestly, if there was like an amazing computer science course to learn just for fun, I would do that. But at the same time, I don't really know what for because I feel like there's some hobbies. To do a hobby, you don't need to do it with the purpose of achieving anything. I 100% stand by that. But there's some hobbies that I'm just like, I don't know if I would feel satisfied just like, like for example with coding, I could just do it as a hobby, but I don't know how satisfied I would feel. I feel like computer science as a hobby is something that like, you're kind of like striving for something. You wanna like complete a project, you wanna do this, you wanna do this. And for me, like, I don't really care to do those projects. So for me, there's nothing pushing me to do computer science. But if I was forced to go back to university, I would be studying computer science. So like, I didn't make a mistake in the course. I made a mistake in going to university, but the course was not a mistake. I still really love the course. The next question, this was asked a lot where in India I'm going to. So we haven't planned the India trip at all so far. All I know is I'm going to Delhi. It's in April, so it's kind of soon. We should start planning it. But right now, literally all I know are the dates I'm gonna be there and the fact that I'm gonna be in Delhi. The next question is, how are you adapting to life in Barcelona? I'm adapting slowly, but surely. As I mentioned earlier, in January, I was very much in a rut. Like I was feeling very, very overwhelmed, very stressed, very guilty of like self-sabotage and all of that. And actually one of the reasons was I was really harsh on myself because I felt like I wasn't integrating into the community quick enough. Like I didn't have all my documents set up. I didn't have hundreds of Spanish speaking friends. I literally only got Wi-Fi in my apartment like last week. And I was really, really, really down on myself that some people integrate into a country so quickly and it's really taken me like all this time. And I was really, really, really harsh on myself about that. And I spoke to my mom about it and who made the rules? Who made the rules of how long it should take you to integrate to a country? For some people it takes three months and I'm so happy for them. For me, it might take three years and that is completely fine. And I'm now learning to be okay with that. So yes, it's taking me a while, but I'm fine. This is the first time I'm living alone. I'm only 21 years old. Like I got time. Plus I'm not planning to live here for like a year. I'm planning to stay here for many, 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 many years. So it's not like I'm about to run out of time, you know, like I have time. So that's something that I've had to remind myself. Other than that, we're doing pretty fine. Like I said, everything is going very slowly, but <laughs> I'm not hating on myself about that anymore. Like I've just accepted it. It's normal, it's fine. I just got Wi-Fi last week. I'm very happy about it. Like for example, when I got Wi-Fi, instead of celebrating that and being like, oh my God, finally, like it's been five months. I haven't had Wi-Fi, like this is amazing. I can like connect my printer. I can connect my TV, whatever. I felt guilty that I hadn't done it earlier. To be fair, I couldn't do it earlier. Well, for some people it's small, but for me, it was such a big accomplishment into integrating here. And I literally was hating on myself. I was like, well, this is the bare minimum. Like, girl, you've lived here for five months. And I was like, who benefits from this? Nobody. Stop being your biggest hater. Lesson of the day. The next question is very related, but it is how has living in Barcelona been in general? Have you made any friends? And how is your Spanish going after living in a Spanish speaking country? So living in Barcelona in general, love it. I definitely did not make a mistake. I love London. I was back in London two months ago 
And I was only there for a few days. And I was there as a tourist. And every single day, I was there with Ari, which is one of my best friends and also my editor. Um, I was there with Ari. I was there for only a couple of days. And bro, every day of that trip, I was saying to Ari, I was like, I realized why I moved. Well, it's not that I realized that I can explain what it is because I, I can't explain what it is, but it's like the energy. The energy is really, 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 really different. I don't know if Barcelona is my number one energy that fits with me, but so far out of all the places I've lived in, Barcelona fits the puzzle the most in comparison to the other four countries I've lived in. Friends, I made a few Spanish speaking friends, but I am not socializing as much as I wish I did. But my first few months of 2023 are kind of chaotic. I'm traveling a lot. And to be honest, like when I make a friend here, I wanna like meet up with them a lot, you know, go to dinners together or like go walk around, go to a cafe, go work together. And I feel like in my brain, I know that like the next three months are booked, like booked and busy. I'm gonna be out of the country like most of the time. So I feel like subconsciously, I kind of blocked myself off from that, but I, I don't wanna do that. But um, I definitely wanna meet more people. And in the past like month, I haven't. That's probably because of that because like I know that the next few months are gonna be really busy but summertime bro I'm making summertime my social time <laughs> if you live in Barcelona hit me up I'm making not just summertime but like spring and summer I'm making that like my social time but February is gonna be very 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 busy but after <laughs> and how is my Spanish it's kind of been like this so when I first got here I was like oh my god I'm so scared I can't speak to anybody and then like in September October I was very active in a specific kind of friend group that was a Spanish speaking friend group and I was speaking to my cousin in Spanish as much as I could and my Spanish felt like it was being like this slowly but it felt like it was getting better and then exam season started I started traveling, stopped speaking Spanish to anyone, and my Spanish went lower than when I first came here. So my confidence actually fell lower than when I first got here. So right now I'm having kind of like a rough patch, <laughs> but it's already kind of getting better. Like I was avoiding doing a lot of things that required me to do speak Spanish. Like I would never call the technician. I would not go to like any appointments or anything because I was like, I don't want, like I'm scared to speak Spanish. And in the past two weeks, I've been getting over that. So like the technician's been in my house like three times and I spoke to them <laughs> every time. And I set up Wi-Fi that was all in Spanish and I did that all on my own. Um, today I went to a laser hair removal appointment fully in Spanish. So I'm slowly getting back into the groove. It's definitely been like this type of thing. It's going like stairs. Like it's like boom, 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 boom. Okay, I, that didn't really make any sense, but you get what you get, guys. Has any of your 2023 goals changed already? Okay, these are very small, but for example, I had a goal to visit Bali. I still really want to visit Bali, but bro, it's only February and I already have like 11 trips booked for this year. I would love to go to Bali, but I don't know if this year is going to be possible. Another thing is I kind of changed my goals about the gym. So in December 2022, I was like, okay, I want to become a gym girly. I want to start working with a personal trainer. And then I was kind of just doing more research and I was like, okay, there's a lot of different types of sports and a lot of different types of muscles that you kind of get based on what you do so there's the people that are like regular gym goers and then there's like the yoga slash pilates people and then there's like the calisthenics people and all of them are very different types of working out and i think for a while i didn't know kind of which one i wanted to to work towards i know that technically you can do them all but i realized that i don't really want to become like a regular gym goer because my goal is not to like lift heavy weights if we're talking about like strength goals i would definitely prefer to focus more on like calisthenics slash yoga or pilates so i kind of took out the gym goals not because i don't want to focus on my fitness but because i want to focus on my fitness in a different way also for now i put the guitar, electric guitar and singing on pause because even though I do really want to do them, I think that for the moment, I need to see like my top few goals and work on them. And then these can be like extra. I wrote out all my goals, but I should have still written out priorities. So I have a little notion board to track all my goals. And what I did is I added a little checkbox to track which goals I archived. So I'm not getting rid of the goals. They might still come back, but like for the moment, I'm thinking about them again. That is it so far. Everything else, there was like a hundred other goals. All the other hundred goals are still there. They're just archived for now. The next question is, 
is what city in Poland are you visiting and why? So I kind of mentioned this briefly earlier, but I'm going to Poland for a Wim Hof expedition. I need to look up what the city is because I don't know how to pronounce it. Przeszka, przeszka. I don't know how to say. Przeszka, przeszka. You know, I bet Polish people love watching foreigners pronounce their cities. Like none of us can do it. None of us can do it. Przeszka, przeszka, przeszka. I'm going to Przeszka, and I'm gonna be there for seven days. I'm really scared, but I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm prepared. There's not a lot of videos of people that have done like the Wim Hof experience. So there's only a certain amount that I can like mentally get myself ready for. So like, you know, like before you like visit a country, you start watching a lot of videos on it or you start like researching a lot of things. Whereas with this type of thing, there's a few videos, actually a few of very well-made videos that I can kind of look at to see how it's gonna be like more or less. But there's not enough. The next question is, is the house you're living in rented or bought? This is rented, bro. I wish I could buy a house at the moment. In this economy? And the last question we have is, did you achieve all of your 2022 goals? So this is gonna be a hard no. My 2022 didn't go as I expected it to go. So like when I initially set my 2022 goals, I was setting goals, me being in uni and like finding a job and finding like, work experience and you know all of that staying in london like all these different hobbies i would be doing in london then i dropped out and then i decided hmm i want to move countries the goals i made for myself in the beginning of 2022 were not aligned at all with how my year went so i don't feel sad or guilty about that because like that's just how it was meant to go that is why i also set like quarterly goals because i feel like if you only set goals once a year and don't bother to set goals later on during the year you're not going to achieve anything because your life situations can change your circumstances can change and the like general context of your life can change. Like when I set my goals for 2022, I was a student living in London. Halfway through the year, I was self-employed living in Spain, like whole different story, whole different goals. So no, most of my goals for 2022, I did not achieve, but that's completely fine. Anyway, I have been talking for very long. I'm going to Madrid tomorrow in the morning and I still have not packed. I have not planned anything. I, all I know is the time that I'm leaving at tomorrow. Expect the video for that very soon. I love you all. I hope that I answered most of your guys' questions. And I will be back very soon. Much love. Peace out.